More than 1.2 million workers have benefited from programs that aim to make the workplace healthier. Senior Minister of State Kopo Kun gave the update in response to an adjournment motion on preventive health. Workers' Party MP Leon Pereira had called for the government to give more attention to policies to reduce chronic diseases, which are becoming more common in Singapore. He offered several suggestions, including giving more subsidies and incentives to promote health screening, as well as helping low-income families to buy healthier food products. Our preventive health programs tend to place personal responsibility on in individuals to take charge of their health and lead healthy lifestyles. However, we have a collective responsibility to ensure the less privileged among us also have access to healthy lifestyle habits and are supported in that direction. Health is a critical dimension in improving lives and livelihoods for poorer Singaporeans. In response, Dr Koh said that the health ministry has been looking into preventive health for many years. In 2017, MOH announced a strategy focusing on early intervention and healthy lifestyles. This year, a new national prevention care program is set to be unveiled at the Committee of Supply debate next month. Dr. Ko also pointed out that screening subsidies are already in place. However, he says that a big hurdle still remains in changing people's mindsets and behaviours. There is an urgent need for the population to take action and participate in improving their health as we emerge from COVID-19. So I urge all Singaporeans to play an active role in their own health journey by making sensible lifestyle choices and informed decisions. MOH, together with relevant stakeholders, will also continually refine our approach to preventive health to bring about a healthier Singapore.